The oceans of the ancient world were realms of wonder, but also terror. Home to some of the most enormous and awe-inspiring creatures ever to exist. Long before the dawn of humans, these colossal beings dominated the seas. Their immense size and power shaping the ecosystems of their time. Fearsome predators that roamed the prehistoric depths, these creatures were the true titans of the deep. In this video, we will dive into the prehistoric oceans and explore 10 of the most terrifying giant sea creatures that once ruled the waters. So without further ado, let's begin. Named after a biblical monster and a whale from Moby Dick, Leviathan was an extinct species of sperm whale that existed some 13 million years ago. Leviathans were around 15 metres long, around the same size as their modern cousins. Unlike sperm whales though, Leviathans were apex predators, hunting sharks, seals, other whales and large marine vertebrates. In some respects, they were the killer whales of their day, only much bigger and more likely to hunt alone. Besides its size, what truly made Leviathan terrifying was their teeth. These teeth have been found worldwide, from Australia to Chile, South Africa and the United States, suggesting that no waters were safe from this sea monster. Interestingly, for a long time, the Viatans shared the seas and many of the same prey as Megalodon, potentially bringing the two apex predators into conflict. As for who would win, it's likely not a certain outcome, with both becoming victim to the other. But in a bite for bite competition, experts believe a Leviathan's endurance, technique, and biting power would have given it the upper hand. Lyoplorodon was a large carnivorous marine reptile belonging to the Pliosaur family that lived between the Middle and Late Jurassic periods some 160 million years ago. In terms of reputation alone, they are an obvious pick when it comes to any discussion regarding ancient sea monsters. Unfortunately, Lyoplorodon's size is frequently exaggerated by television documentaries and the internet alike, with some going so far as to claim they were over 24 metres long. However, more realistic estimates put these animals in the region of 5 to 9 metres long. But make no mistake, Lyoplorodons were still fearsome apex predators that ruled the now European waters where they resided. Not only did these animals have massive mouths, full of razor sharp teeth, but they boasted an incredible bite force and immense speed. Furthermore, they likely had an incredible sense of smell, meaning no prey was safe from being ambushed by this monster of the ocean. Often described as resembling giant fanged harpoons and currently the largest known bony fish of the Cretaceous period, Xiphanctinus was a voracious predator that existed 41 to 33 million years ago. Growing to lengths of around 4 to 6 metres, these bony fish don't quite scale to the size of some of the other animals on this list. However, they are still pretty massive with no sane person wanting to be anywhere near a living specimen. After all, even the fossils they left behind are unnerving to look at, especially when you see its fang-like teeth. Another thing to know about Zephactinus is that it was incredibly fast, capable of reaching speeds of over 60 kilometers an hour. Furthermore, their torpedo-like shape suggests they may have been capable of even leaping out of the water. 
Tylosaurus was a massive reptile that lived during the Cretaceous period, around 90 million years ago, and dominated the shallow inland seas once found in what would today be known as North America. Fossil evidence suggests these animals were typically 9 to 12 meters in size. However, some experts estimate that they may have grown even larger with enough available food. When it comes to Tylosaurus's diet, almost everything was on the menu. These animals ate fish, sharks, other marine reptiles and even some flightless birds. Tylosaurus had a unique way of catching its prey too. Rather than relying on the biting power like other sea predators, evidence suggests that Tylosaurus used its huge and powerful skull to ram into its victims before tearing them to pieces. The name Basilosaurus probably makes you think of a species of reptile or dinosaur. But while its name translates to King Lizard, Basilosaurus was a prehistoric species of whale that existed around 40 million years ago. Nonetheless, you can forgive experts for originally thinking otherwise. That is because Basilosaurus is like no whale you've ever laid your eyes on. Shaped like a giant slithering eel with a long snout full of sharp teeth, the Basilosaurus was pure nightmare fuel, even before you consider its massive size. These sleek creatures grew to around 20 meters long and weighed somewhere in the region of 5 to 10 tons. Basilosaurus were not just lumbering scavengers either, but highly active and capable hunters. Dunkleosteus is an extinct form of Arthrodire fish that lived during the late Devonian period around 360 million years ago. Featuring a bony armoured skull attached to a skeleton made of cartilage, Dunkleosteus is often compared to an underwater tank, and with good reason. Not only was this animal well armoured, but it was also well armed, thanks to its blade-like jaw that could snap shut at over 8,000 pounds of force. As a result, Dunkleosteus is a strong contender for having the strongest biting power of any extinct or living fish. In terms of size, there have been multiple estimates, ranging from 5 to 10 meters. However, most evidence points to it being comparatively short and chunky as an animal. Nonetheless, a Dunkleosteus had very few things to fear, apart from possibly other Dunkleosteus, as fossil evidence shows it may have also been a cannibal. If there is one saving grace about being eaten by one of these real-life monsters, it would probably be quick. After all, such animals were so big that they would have made short work of humans. On the other hand, you have to imagine that an attack from a bizarre shark-like fish known as Helicroprion would be more akin to being put through a meat grinder. Helicoprion translates to spiral jaw, and it is hard not to see how it got its name. That is because Helicoprion's most identifiable and alarming trait is its tooth whorls, spirally arranged clusters of teeth that sit in its lower jaw. Scientists believe that these teeth all had individual functions. Some teeth hooked prey, while others cut them apart or pushed them into Helicoprion's oral cavity, allowing Helicoprion to consume all sorts of animals. Mosasaurus is often mistaken for being some form of dinosaur, but were reptiles from the Mosasaur family, the same family as Tylosaurus, and they were also more closely related to snakes and lizards. In terms of size, these things were massive, often growing to be around 15 meters long. 
but what truly made Mosasaurus a fearsome predator was its long, double-hinged jaw and its sharp spiked teeth that allowed it to hold onto and tear up its prey. This animal, which existed around 82 to 66 million years ago, generally preferred shallow waters. However, its shape suggests it would have been an excellent open water swimmer as well. In any case, it could eat pretty much whatever it chose to, and it was not fussy, making meals out of sharks, birds, other mosasaurs, and fish. Shastasauruses are an extinct genus of ichthyosaurs that lived through the middle and late Triassic periods, around 200 million years ago. Unfortunately, we do not yet know a huge amount about these marine reptiles, but we do know that some of them grew to be massive, especially Shastasaurus sicanensis, which may have measured up to 22 meters long. Despite its size, its sleek body, powerful tail, and strong flippers allowed this animal to move effortlessly through the water. Furthermore, fossil evidence suggests that it was an ambush predator that used its incredible agility to spring on its victims. As if this animal was not overpowered enough, it could also dive to deep depths where its scaly skin protected it from the harsh elements of the ocean. Another animal we are only beginning to learn about is Pliosaurus funke, also commonly known as Predator X. What we do know is that it was both a strange looking and fearsome monster of an animal that likely measured over 15 meters long and weighed around 55 tons. We also know that it was a type of pliosaur, hence the name, belonging to the same family as Lyoplorodons and Chronosaurs, that probably lived around 147 million years ago. What really makes Pliosaurus funke unlike anything else in oceanic history is its massive skull. Its skull was not only larger than that of a T-Rex, but it also had a bite force four times more powerful. This beast was also short-necked and four-paddled, giving it an alien-like look. As we surface from our exploration of the ancient seas, the sheer magnitude and mystery of the giants that once dominated these waters still linger in my mind. These colossal creatures were not just rulers of their domains, but key players in the complex web of prehistoric life. Their immense size and power were more than just evolutionary quirks. They were adaptations honed by millions of years of survival in a world far different from our own. Their stories remind us that the seas were once inhabited by beings that stretched the limits of imagination. Creatures so vast that their very existence challenges our understanding of life and evolution. Each of these giants, with their unique adaptations and roles in ancient ecosystems, leaves a legacy etched in the fossil record, a testament to the ever-changing tapestry of life on Earth. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.